Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass. Today, I want to tell you about the Behold the Lamb of God. At this point, the priest raises the Holy Eucharist and shows it to people and says, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. And the people respond, Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now let me tell you about those words. They were written by a person who wasn't even baptized. Imagine that. And Mass is celebrated hundreds of thousands of times every day all over the world. And millions and millions of people repeat those words every day all over the world. And they were written by a person who wasn't even baptized. He was a Roman centurion who came to Jesus because he heard Jesus had, could work miracles. And he said, Lord, my servant is really in bad shape. Could you heal him? And Jesus said, I'll be right over to your house right away. And the centurion said, no, you don't have to come to my house. Just give the word and he'll be healed. I'm a Roman centurion. If I tell my soldiers do this, they do it. My servants do this, they do that. And Jesus was so impressed by his humility and he rewarded him with his faith. And that Roman centurion said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. Isn't that amazing? That gives me a lot of hope that God, our Lord Jesus Christ, died on the cross to save everyone. And I'll bet this Roman centurion has his own place in heaven because he should. We say his words every day. Tomorrow, I will tell you more about how to receive the Holy Eucharist with real fervor. So if what you learned today really helped you, please tell somebody else about it, even if it's just one person. A phone call, a text message, a voicemail, an email, a post on your social media platforms. And that way, we'll take this fire and it spread throughout the whole world, and that's what Jesus wanted.